Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making legumes, aka legumes, legumes, legumes. I know some people are, some, some <laughs> I'm not gonna record this because this is too much. I know some people refer to it as vegetable stew, but it's legume. I don't know why it's so hard for people to just say legume. It's legume, it's a dish. I don't like people disrespecting my culture, okay? Anyway, you guys, sometimes I can't speak. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare the meat, cutting it and cleaning it. I'm just cutting it right now and removing the bad parts, like the veins. I don't know what to call them, but whatever. You get what I'm saying if you're too Haitian. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut it. I don't cut it too small or too big. I can't really tell you the inches because I'm not that smart. Um, I'm using the meat. I forgot what kind of meat I'm using, what kind of cut. But I'm using bone beef also. It's more be more bones than meat. Yeah. So once I'm finished cutting all the meat and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with lime and some white vinegar. So I know not everyone washes their meat, but most people, my most of my people, like Haitian people and black people in general, we wash our meats. But if you don't want to wash it, that's your preference. Do whatever you want. It's your dish. I'm not eating it, so I don't care. Do what you want. But, um, yeah, so let's go back, get back to this. I'm going to rub the meats with the lime. Just, you know, rub it all over. Make sure it gets in to remove all the impurities and the whatever is in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and rinse it, clean it up, and then going to go ahead and add one Maggie Cubes, chicken bouillon, that kind. Um, once I open it, we're going to just sprinkle it all over, and that's that. And then I'm using also this all-purpose Jamaican seasoning that I got at the grocery store. It's really good. Honestly, I can't really tell. I mean, it's just, I use it. <laughs> but yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some sour oranges juice. Um, I couldn't find the actual orange juice, the actual orange, sour orange at the store. It's not easy to find. And this one is that, I'm using kind of a lot because it's not, you know, that strong. It's not as sour like the real stuff back at home. It's not. So it's safe to use quite a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add half of a lime to get that you know acidity so the meat doesn't taste like I don't know I don't know I don't even know how to describe it I forgot and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my piece that I made earlier and then some olive oil to marinate it that looks about three tablespoons but like I said I don't really measure things I just put stuff together I'm not a professional cook I'm not a chef I just learned from my family, my friends, and YouTube University. So now I'm going to go ahead and stir it. Make sure everything is coated with that good stuff, a piece, a.k.a. a piece. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so funny. I let mine marinate for four hours. That's what I had. 24 hours is not enough, obviously, but it's best to leave it for 24 hours. And most of us don't even have that much time, but hey. But I try my best to do that. So I'm going to let it marinate for four hours. And then I'm going to go ahead and start peeling my vegetables. Um, you know, the vegetables is eggplant, um, cabbage, papaya, if you like, green papaya, um, chayote squash. I have the light green one and the dark green. I love the dark green one better. And then some carrots. You know, you don't have to add papaya if you don't want to, but I like papaya in mine. Sometimes, there's different kinds, there's different ways you can make legume. You could make legume with just papaya. You just be a papaya legume. You know, with, you know, carrots and whatever. But that's how I like it. That's, you know, the original authentic stuff. That's like the real Haitian stuff, you know. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and peel all my vegetables and cut them up and get them ready to cook. Hey, I forgot to say, if you actually enjoy this video if you're enjoying it would you mind hitting the subscribe button or the like button at least thank you
Um, so with the chayote squash, you gotta cut it open in half and remove the inside. I believe it's the seed. It's not really. It doesn't really look like a seed. But listen, you gotta take it out. That's what I grew up seeing. So I don't know that you. I don't think it's. Listen, you gotta take it out. I, I'm sure you can cook it whole, but I've never seen it being cooked whole, a whole. So cut it open and remove the little thing that looks like a seed inside it's not it's not hard like a seed but whatever it is just remove it and also for the papaya also cut it open and remove the seeds i don't think the seeds are edible to eat and cook with it i think it's gonna be very um the texture will be different if you leave the seeds in it and as far as the eggplant i didn't remove the seed because there's barely any seeds in it the egg, the eggplants back home they are full of seeds and you gotta take some out you know, but this this is American stuff. You know, you know, you know American stuff. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say any more than that. But you know what I'm saying. Um, cutting the vegetables, the size, of the size doesn't really matter. It just depends on the size of your pot. You know, if you get a big pot, then I guess it's fine to cut it big. Because at the end of the day, they're all going to cook and then you're going to mash them all together. So it doesn't really matter how you, the size you cut it. It doesn't matter at all. Um, just so you know, this is a Haitian specialty. Okay, it's a staple. It's, it's a Sunday dinner at almost every Haitian household if you're gonna go to someone's house an Haitian household go on a Sunday because they might be cooking this you know that's when we cook our biggest meal so yeah this is a big this is like everyone's favorite you know a lot of kids don't like don't like vegetables they don't really eat vegetables but most kids will eat this and it's all vegetable that's how good this stuff is but you already know Haitian like we got all the good stuff we got all the good women all the dishes like the music Everything good except for um, So now all my vegetables are cut up. I'm gonna go ahead and add the meat in the Cardero, I think that's how you say it <laughs> um, And then you're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of I Think I'm going too fast But whatever I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil this was over is really hard you guys it's really really hard i don't know how some people do it like i gotta redo things over and 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 over see i still didn't add the olive oil now i'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and then i'm gonna go ahead and add i'm gonna stir it now <laughs> I'm gonna stir it a little bit and then add the vegetables to it. And then I'm gonna go and cook it. Uh, it's better to put the other vegetables on the bottom instead, like the papaya and the chayote squash, and then put the cabbage on top because they, you know, the cabbage cooks very fast and the others take a little bit longer to cook, so it's all fine. Um, actually, I've seen some people do it differently. Some people cook the vegetables separate and the meat by itself, which I makes no sense to me, but everyone does things different. That's how that's the thing about cooking. You do it how you like it, whatever is easier for you. And at the end of the day, it's your food. You're going to eat it, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I've seen that, but this is what I see growing up. And this is so easier, you know, so much easier. Ta-da! It's cooked. It's all cooked. So all the vegetables cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the cardero. I know I'm saying this wrong, but hey, my shoots, yeah, that is not wrong. And then I'm gonna go ahead and you know mash it. It's pretty hot, as you can see, with the steam coming out of it. You could eat this just like that. That's it's so tasty. It's so bomb. I know I didn't add a lot of stuff to the meat but like I said if I've, I will put a recipe for my apiece the apiece that I make have everything it's really good so 
there's not much I need to put in the meat in the meat marinated for a few hours so that was also a good thing Um, try your best to get all the vegetables out of the shudzia, you know, so when you're getting the meat ready, there's not much in there, but you know, do your best to get everything out. So once I'm done removing everything from the shudzia, I'm going to go ahead and start mashing it up. Um, do not ever put this on a food processor because then you wouldn't be making vomit and it would be such a disrespect to my culture, okay? Don't ever do that. I don't think anyone has ever done that. I hope no one has ever done that. Cause that would be so crazy you know I kind of wonder now so yeah mash it to your liking as you can see I'm almost done mashing it up mashing it up mashing it up so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the mince I'm gonna I put it back on the oven the stove excuse me on medium high not too high and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some tomato paste. The tomato paste, you don't, it's totally optional. You don't have to add it. I, tomato paste gives it color. That's why I add it. If you don't add it, it's just gonna be a little bit more greener rather than, you know, a little bit orangey, kind of like not too green kind of color. But um, yeah, you don't have to add it. Just put it if you want to. I go ahead and added half of a Maggie cubes and some of that chicken all-purpose chicken seasoning that I got at BJ's I think only BJ's has this kind you won't find it anywhere else but you can use whatever chicken seasoning you have all-purpose chicken seasoning you have it doesn't matter you know it's your food just don't add like you know some crazy stuff and then I added some more um, sour orange juice because it's like I said it's not that it's not that strong it's not that sour so adding a little bit more is not gonna mess up the dish and let me tell you, adding crabs to legume is the best thing ever. So I'm going to go ahead and add my crabs. Um, my crabs, I am um, marinated for... Oh, shit. <laughs> I actually marinated my meat overnight. You see what happens when you record your stuff like months ago? But yeah, that's why I have different clothes. But um, yeah, I did marinate my meat overnight in my crab. So my crab, I just added um some a piece in it. Oh damn! Yes, I did marinate my food, my meat overnight. Oh goodness! So I'm gonna go ahead now and let it cook for ten minutes. And once it's cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add the um, fresh spinach. I didn't put the spinach with the other vegetable because it really just gonna kill the spinach. Honestly, I like to putting it all the way like later on sometimes, like after everything is done. I just put it in, and then the steam will cook it but I'm just gonna put it right now you know So um, I also added my thyme um, and parsley at the same time as um, I added the spinach. So we, you know, we could cook a little bit longer and make sure that it's tasty. If you don't like thyme or parsley, you don't have to add it. But I don't know. I don't know what is Haitian food without thyme and parsley. I don't know. But I'm just going to let the spinach cook for a few minutes. You know, about five minutes. I got burned. So yeah. Don't use your hand, your bare hand. I keep getting burned. I keep doing the same things. I don't understand. What is wrong with me? So anyways, I forgot to add a clip where I added the 
uh, legumes to the the vegetables to the pot so yeah so I added after I cooked the spinach for like five minutes I go ahead and added the veg the vegetables to it and then stir it up a little bit I didn't add anything else because it was already tasty you know my hands are magical and that's the final product voila bread meal okay this is something I would eat I could eat for the rest of my life for breakfast for lunch for dinner for snacks you could also eat it with banana which I don't I'm not a big fan of but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you try it and this recipe was pretty easy it's not complicated at all although legume takes a while but it is not complicated thank you for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and also share leave a comment and if you really enjoyed it subscribe for more thank you for watching you have a blessed day goodbye